So I'm headed to a, a launch on a small lake up by uh, Lake of the Woods, northwestern Ontario. And I have to build an ice road to the job site that we have coming up in about two weeks. It is uh, December, I think it's the 27th today. So uh, coming down here to the launch, there's the lake. And I'm just getting on the ice. So I'm on the ice about uh, 150 feet offshore. Uh, I'm only out here right now because I know how thick the ice is. I checked it yesterday. So I thought I'd do a little video about how to make sure uh, you're not going to go through the ice. So that truck, a uh, truck without the plow weighs 7,000, just over 7,000 pounds. With the plow, it's a nine foot two VXT Boss. Let's call it a thousand pounds for the plow. Let's say it's 8,000 pounds with a full tank of fuel. So I need to support 8,000 pounds. So I'm looking for, uh, well, I'm looking for 12 to 14 inches of ice. But really, I, I don't like being on the ice at all with my truck. I, I use my old plow truck here in case it does go through the ice. That truck owes me nothing. If it goes through, it's just uh, a matter of fishing it out in the, in the spring. So I have to go from here all the way over there, across the lake. It's hard to tell in the GoPro. It's about... Uh, uh, a good half a mile maybe even three quarters of a mile so a good idea before you go anywhere uh, you can take your quad out on uh, maybe four inches or better if you're going ice fishing or something like that but I have to get I have to get 40,000 pounds of equipment over to the out of the shoreline here uh, it's truck air track and, uh, and a big compressor on a trailer for uh, for drilling pipe into the granite. So I need to support 40,000 pounds going across the ice. They need 17 inches minimum before, before they'll even uh, go on the ice or more. And that's uh, nice, clear blue ice. Can't have any slush ice in it. You can, but uh, that ice is rated at half the strength of uh, nice new blue ice. And the way to check, there's a couple of different ways you can either use a chainsaw so I just got my uh, 9 amp hour flexible battery on a on a drill this is a strike master uh, light flight 8 inch diameter it's got some blades there so we're going to pop a quick hole through. So now I got my hole. I can see just from the surface that this is nice blue ice right throughout. A bit of slush out. You can see it's nice, nice blue ice. So you can take a tape measure and hook onto the underside or if you have one of these. This is 36 inches long. So I just put it down and then I hook on. Oh, so right here I'm at about 14 inches of ice. Which is funny because I thought I was at 15 or 16 with the saw. This thing, 14 inches. Which is the minimum I would take my truck out there. It's 8,000 pounds. 14 inches for me is enough. Uh, I did check this ice yesterday. 
right around here from the shore up to here it's uh, 14 to 15 inches there's a couple of spots it was 15 inches and i've already checked 100 to 100 every 100 150 feet up to the job site and out in the middle of the lake i've got 17 inches and as you get closer to shore you get a little less uh, drops down to 16 for a long way and then at the site over there it's another 14 inches at the site at shore so you're always going to get your best ice out in the open in the middle of the lake and then the ice closer to shore is going to be uh, not as good there's a lot of variables whether it's shallow or, or weedy or if it's deep if there's current if there's natural springs underneath whether they're whether it's a reservoir a glacial lake there's a lot of factors but ultimately if you're not sure and you're not comfortable being on the ice uh, just stay off the ice make sure somebody knows where you are if you do go by yourself and uh, be careful